This is apparently very, very delicate. Oh no. Why must everything be so little and hard? Mm. Oh my God. If anything goes wrong with this graphics card, it's because of you and your refusal to give up dairy. We're building a PC. How are you feeling? Oh my God, so excited. Why am I even doing this? Well, to be honest with you, this is something I never planned on doing, not for anyone else, not even myself. I am the kind of person who's happy to get her computer from a box already assembled like a plebe. Listen, I know myself and I love myself and I am barely equipped to put together a coherent sentence on some days, let alone a computer. But sometimes y'all, and this is a truth of adulting, a person does things that they don't necessarily want to do out of love for their partner. I've been gaming and working off of a 2008 Mac Pro Tower for quite a few years now. It shows its age, but it's only very recently that it started crashing on me. I mean, it's from 2008, my it, dude. Yeah, it's remarkable that it still runs as well as it does. I was in college in 2008. I wasn't gonna think about how old I was. I lost my virginity in 2008. Wow, okay. <laughs> um. You are a video game producer. Yes. Part of my job is to make content around video games, which is something that I also love as a hobby. And it's only recently that I've been really running into some bottlenecks. I can't even plug a VR headset into my current computer because the ports you need weren't invented yet when my computer was made. So it's time for an upgrade. I have watched Pat come to bed dismayed too many times because his computer won't load the latest version of shootsy Wutsies or crafty buildies or whatever game he's embedded in that week. And you know what, honestly, I simply can't have that. I don't like it when my man's is sad. So, like a lioness hunting for her lion, let mom and dev handle this one. She's stepping right in. I've never done a full end-to-end -end PC build before. I also am really lucky to have Ross, who is very knowledgeable about all this stuff, Have you ever built a computer before? Funny you should ask, because indeed I have. What have you done? One computer, <laughs> about three years ago. So when we first moved in together, you built a computer? Yeah, you were here. Was I? You might have been out of town, I guess. I can't remember now. You see y'all, when I get an idea in my head, it's like a bee in my bonnet. It won't leave me alone. And so I was not satisfied with the concept of us doing this together as a couple, because I know our relationship. We are two producers, AKA, very outspoken and independent people who have come together under an unspoken agreement, which is if we're gonna do something in his wheelhouse, I let him drive. And likewise, he does the same when we do things that are in my corner of the world. So if we were gonna do this project together, inevitably, I would let him take the reins. And that's not fun. It would be a video of a well-researched man successfully putting together a computer. So boring. We're here to have fun. We're here to break some hearts. We're here to change some minds. I'm here to build a fucking computer. You are not allowed to put your hands on any of the pieces until it's time to plug her in and turn her on. That is gonna be tremendously difficult for me. Fun fact about me, I don't like following directions. Fuck them. I typically read the first three lines of a recipe and then do whatever I want. I glance at the map and then I take the scenic route. Is this a good system? No, I have lost many American dollars being pigheaded in this way. And one time I decided it was a good idea to eat some berries off of a trailhead and then got explosive diarrhea in the woods. We all take an L sometimes. But you know what, this way of doing things does keep my life interesting. I think I operate this way because in my day job, I have to follow all of the rules. So that in my life life, I just kinda wanna let it all go. And I know that this is going to drive Ross crazy because homeboy loves three things in his life. Precision, his girlfriend, and explaining things to me, AKA annoying me. My biggest concern absolutely is that I accidentally say something like to personally offend you. <laughs> <laughs> If something goes wrong because you don't assemble it properly, I won't be mad at you because I totally understand. I will be crushed if it doesn't work. I'm not that worried. Like the consequences could be severe. Yes, you could break your whole system. It's just not that likely to happen if you follow the instructions correctly. So we play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons in our household. And for those of you who don't know, that's a role playing game. Yep, that's right, you heard me. My friends and I spend a lot of our free time pretending to be elves and we still get laid because sister these days you can have it all i bring this up because in dungeons and dragons there is a chart like this that dictates everyone's moral compass and i tend to live 
on the chaotic side. Devin is definitely chaotic good. Definitely chaotic neutral. And it makes you super fun to party with because you don't give a fuck. A lot can be said for the folks who live in Chaos Town. We don't live by the rules. Things don't usually go to plan, but you know what? Chaos Town fucks. I'll leave you with that. I would describe myself more as lawful good. I tend to follow the rules. I would describe Patrick's energy as manic. Realistically, my D&D alignment leans lawful good. Kind of love the rules, and sometimes I have real trouble doing like evil stuff in video games because it's too real and I wouldn't do it in real life. Ross is the perfect balance for this though, where Devin is chaotic and the one who wants to rush headlong into things. Ross is a natural born explainer. The man loves to explain. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Pat is going to be very annoying during this build and that's why he's off camera. And I mean, I get it. He's watching his baby come to life and generally, one of the reasons why I love Pat is because he knows the correct way to do things. And I can only imagine the frustration he must feel watching Hurricane Devon go through life while he knows the better way to do things. But motherfucker chose me. Free will, baby, that's how they get you. To quote the great Obi-Wan Kenobi, you've taken your first steps into a larger world. I'm so excited to teach Devin how to build a PC because I know it's something totally out of left field and that you've not done before. The actual act of assembling the components itself is really fun and I think it's gonna be a great time tonight. I have great faith in Ross and you as a team. I'm also gonna be high. Oh, you didn't know? I did not know you were going to be high. I'm just kidding. Uh -huh. <laughs> So I'm gonna be real with y'all. I am going in blind to this experience, which is the dumbest thing to do. I have read over Ross's instructions 0.75 times, and I feel confident in my ability to make several mistakes in the first couple hours. And I don't want people to watch this and think that I'm not taking this seriously, because I am. I am taking this seriously because I take Pat seriously, and I take a relationship seriously, and this is something that's important to him. I think I've really been avoiding doing my own research because building a computer is a very male-dominated corner of the internet. And when I get into male-dominated spaces, I tend to make this face a lot. I don't like people thinking of me as a noob or dumb, and instead of rising to the occasion, I tend to just lean into people's expectations. I wanna to prove to myself that I can go toe to toe with what intimidates me. Also, you know what, maybe there's a badass female identifying person who might be watching this video and wants to make their own computer and maybe feels overwhelmed like I feel overwhelmed. And to them, I say, sister, Get in the car, we're gonna learn what a motherboard is. Guys, let's go build a fucking PC. There's definitely been an obsession over the last couple weeks of researching, trying to snipe the specific parts that I want. If I'm gonna take the time to build a new PC, I wanted to get my dream parts. Luckily, there were some friends over at Main Gear who were willing to send us a couple of parts, so I really appreciate that. It makes me feel all the better about building this thing. All right, my love, this is the only thing you get to do in this computer building process, okay. which is to open your present from Main yeah. Gear. Push! Push! She's born! This looks like the Tesla of boxes. Very into it, very excited. Thank you, Main Gear. All right. All right, yep. Bye. Can I help you put it flat so it doesn't Bye. get broken? Okay, all right, please be gentle. What up, bitch? All right, let's do this. <laughs> Computer assembly, step-by-step -step instructions. Notice, static electricity is the devil, y'all. Basically, the static discharge can actually overload some of the components in your computer and fry them before you even get to use them. Make sure you don't drag your feet on carpet. It would be potentially advisable to wear shoes. I got shoesies. Step one, building a computer is put shoes on, okay. Mobo pre-assembly. Let's grab the parts. Okay, all right, let me see if I can actually get the parts. I know that this is the case. This is the graphics card. This is the CPU, right? No. No, no. These are fans. Yes, what is that? It's a processor. It says so in the box. 
This is the motherboard. This is the RAM. This thing called Rip Jaws, that's packaged yeah. like a this fucking extreme. G.I. Joe yeah. toy. This is the computer RAM. It is. Okay, so let's get the motherboard out. Yes. This is basically the central housing into which everything is gonna plug into. So this is your CPU. This is your CPU housing. This is apparently very, very delicate and I should not fuck this up. This is the thing that you'll be watching porn on. Okay. This is your CPU cooler. Oh, it's like a little fan. Let's go by the instructions that I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Lay motherboard flat on your work surface and raise the metal CPU retention arm. <laughs> Step one. Finish. Yes, okay, so we can get rid of these instructions. Yeah, I guess that's how you do it. <laughs> how bad would it be if I spilled water on this right now? Oh my God, Devin, shut the hell up. <laughs> You don't think those thoughts. <laughs> Pick up the CPU by the edges and gently set it down into the CPU housing, matching it by the two tiny little triangles. There it is. Ah! All right. And now I'm gonna put her down. So real no, cool. no, no, no. Push it down. Perfect. Push it real good. One of the most stressful parts of the build is done. Your CPU is installed. <sighs> Next up is the CPU cooler. Unscrew. Plastic side down. Otherwise, you set it on the thermal paste. That. that well, mom told me that there was thermal it's paste. It's in the directions. Start by screwing the brackets into place on either side of the CPU. It's in. The brain and the brain fan are in. RAM installation. You should slot the RAMs into either slots one and three or two and four. So you should use slots one and three. Odd number slots. Yes. You need to push it down until you hear those clicks of those slot tabs. Oh, so I'll do it with number three. <laughs> I made a crunchy noise. It's not gonna sound smooth. 12 hours later. I hate you. Ah! I did it! All right, um, nice. Install. This is the last step of the motherboard pre-assembly. Something I've never done before. We are installing an NVMe M.2 solid state hard drive. These are the fastest hard drives on the market right now. Ross, he just simply loves to explain. And he really just gets a kick out of sharing information. And he loves to hear information too. It's a whole process, that's just Ross. So we just put a terabyte of storage. Once you peel off this plastic sticker, you will have completed motherboard pre-assembly section one. I'm so jealous you get to peel the sticker. That's like the best part. Oh yeah, I'm gonna zoom in on this peel though, because this is, oh, yeah. I mean, this get is a good just, peel. Oh. Use those nails. You guys, this is getting a little sexual. Yeah. You guys are fucking kinky. Okay, give it. Yeah. So we're gonna prep the case, okay. which means we are going to remove the tempered glass panel, we're gonna remove the back panel, and we're gonna install some fans. The only part that I didn't hand select is the case that Main Gear sent over. The aesthetic choice of the case and all of that would have taken me hours of research, and so having them send over something that I truly love without having to do all that research is a gift. Shout out Main Gear for the built-in fan controller. That is not something I see on a lot of cases. It's gonna make your life so much easier for connecting all these fan headers. I am slowly warming up to this whole thing. It is time to mount the motherboard. Got some Sounds dirty. Yeah, it does. Basically gonna have to just drop it in. Uh, what? Not okay. actually drop it, but lower it gently. I think this motherboard Ooh. is too big. Interesting wrinkle. The motherboard, I think, will fit if we move these fans out. Thought that might end up happening. So this is a mistake that I didn't make. This is not on Devin. One hour later. With the fans installed, it was a little too tight a fit. So we made the executive decision, pull the fans out and give it another try. Ooh, she coming. Okay, we are set. Now we're gonna screw on the motherboard. It's like the actual organs of the computer. Wow. Hey, friendos. And it is ready for us to try those fans one more time. We are going to install the power supply. Okay. So we have this gorgeous, gigantic 1200 watt power supply from Main Gear to go with this Main Gear case. And because the case is white, they were so kind to include gorgeous white cables, all three billion of them. I love it. But this is the actual power supply. Damn. Ooh. Damn, boy, he fit! Here is where you'll plug your power cable in. Don't mix power supply cables. Only use cables that are certified by the manufacturer to work with that power supply. Mm -hmm. Cable management is my fetish. Some people like to be strapped down. I like to strap down cables. <laughs> Specifically, wires and cables. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay, we're almost done. Installed some cables. And now what are we doing? It's a big moment right now, Devin. Now is a big moment? Like, we are going <laughs> to put in the GPU. Which is? The graphics supply. The, oh, graphics. the graphics card. This is a 2080 Super. 
near top of the line graphics card. It smells kind of like a pool toy. Oops. I would like to guess where I'm going to put her. Well, you see, Ross, um, actually, you're gonna put your GeForce Rotex card. You're gonna plug her in. Um, you're gonna put her in right here. That's one option. However, we're not gonna do that. Well, that's what I was assuming that we were doing a vertical graphics card. That's what I was told. So this right here is gonna slot in. Oh no, we right have more screwing to do. Here. We do have a bit more screwing to do. It's not too much. I would have put on a dress had I known we were gonna screw this much. Hold on, we're about to do something very important and you, Patrick, farted on set right before I was about to pick this up. If anything goes wrong with this graphics card, it's because of you and your refusal to give up dairy. Anyway, we're gonna install a <laughs> graphics card. So Devin is going to slot hers in again right here. Why must everything be so little and hard? Oh, you know what? Is there a cap on this? There actually might be. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Hey. Wait, wait, did I just predict something? Devin got something right. I got something right. Devin I knows who did. There you go. She's in. As soon as I installed this and it clicked, I saw the hours that Patrick is going to spend gaming on this graphics card. Months of his life just flashed before my eyes as I plugged this in. All right, we're gonna get some more cabling done. We'll be right back. So we have to insert this power supply unit in the butt. It's so, right over here, if you can't see. Have we named her yet? Here? No. Probably when we turn her on. Yep. If she works. Yes! Now this is satisfying. Here we go. Nice. Ka -chunk, ka -chunk. The CPU cooler has come loose from the post. Did I screw it in wrong? No, I screwed that part in. Oh yeah, that whole thing feels loose as hell. Yeah, I think we do need to get Patrick involved. Oh no. We almost broke the damn thing and he paid for a lot of these parts. So I'm not gonna stand in the way of us ruining this project. You know, jokingly, I started this video with a lot of like, ha ha, he ha ha ha, we're probably gonna fuck this up. But I didn't actually think we were gonna fuck this up. I actually thought that we were gonna successfully build this computer. And to think that we may have actually fucked this up and snapped a screw. I'm not gonna stick to my guns and not save this project. This is his computer. He's been looking forward to this build for months, I had to let Pat jump in. And he always knows how to step in. Oof, love that boy. Somehow on this side, the pressure of the springs popped that back plate to <gasps> mount it off. So this seems pretty serious. If the screw isn't in correctly, then that means that first plate is cracked and the whole thing is scrapped. So because this is such an expensive project and something that Patrick has spent months on, I think I'm gonna have him come in and diagnose the issue and see if we can fix it without having to go back to square one. The CPU cooler was not properly screwed into place, which could have had lots of bad repercussions, including a melted CPU. It is now properly seated, thanks to the one and only, the man who should not be at all Help here. Us. Can I put thing. it in the butt now? <laughs> yeah, that's all right, push. Wow, she's gorgeous. Ooh, show everyone at home what we're working with. <laughs> I love it, I think it looks Gorgeous. I wouldn't pick white for myself, but now that it's here, I love white. I mean, I'm super excited to see what it looks like turned on, but this is exciting. Thank you guys for building me a new PC. She's sexy. I just realized that I might have put bolt by bolt together your other girlfriend. I just built my side piece. This video just took a turn. <laughs> Are you ready to take your first test drive? Yes. Time to undress her. This is getting more and more sexual. Okay. Oh yeah. That was weird for all of us. Power switch is on, okay. so hopefully she should be getting power. That's good noises. We've got colors. This is red, which I have no idea what that means. It's blinking. Oh my god. This way. Oh. Oh. Memory modules are found in non-optimized memory slots. So the RAM's in the wrong slots? I mean, technically. God damn it. RAM insulation. So you should use slots one and three odd number slots, yes. That doesn't mean they won't work. No. It means they're non-optimal. Oh my god. Yes, this is good. This is a good start. Well, we got boot screen, which is fantastic, which means it's all functioning. It yelled at us for installing the RAM in the wrong slots. 
So we'll have to fix that. How are you feeling? Exhausted. And quite frankly, this was very hard. I'm amazed at this screen. I've never seen this screen before. This makes it look like it's a race car. I'm a little overwhelmed because I feel like I gave birth to something that I don't completely understand. So this was hard. This may be where I leave you right now because I think we still have some work to do. We do. Okay, so we're gonna do this and I'll give you an update tomorrow morning. Yes. Aha, the computer has been built. Ah, we did it. So last night we built the computer and little did I know, Henry fucking Cavill built a computer the same exact night as we did, which brings me closer to my dream of becoming Yennefa from The Witcher. That's my happy ending, folks. And also I learned a new skill and that was amazing. I still can't tell you what I really built last night, but I feel really confident in the fact that I did it, that I stretched myself, that I put some things together. Oh, and you know what? Pat gets his happy ending too. Welcome to 2020, baby. You work hard, you deserve a new computer. This is an historic day in our household. I built my computer on this day three years ago, July 15th, 2017. So it feels pretty cool that literally three years later to the day, we got Pat's out of the zone. Best friends, Ross.